let me give you guys a little bit of backstory, okay? For those of you who don't know, BX Bullet is essentially a talentless loser who has made a career on saying a bunch of dumb fuck shit to an army of simps on her Twitch stream and then playing victim after suffering the blowback from her dipshittery. That's essentially her whole entire style. We'll go here and take a look at her, uh, her channel, get a feel for the type of videos she posts before we jump into the video she made about me, of course. Um, dinner date, showing how to shoot. You know, she's, she's not anti-vax or anything. She just thinks that now it's all about control and they're going to take away all of our rights until you get the vaccine. Very boring type content. It's probably why her content isn't very successful. It's lame. Um, so there's that. And recently, and by recently, I mean a couple months ago now, I debated her on vaccines. Okay. And this debate got pretty fucking heated. I'm not going to lie. Um, I feel like I gave her a pretty hard time in the conversation because she said a lot of dumb shit when it came to the vaccines. So ever since this debate, it seems as though her ego is like badly hurt because we had a little, we, I thought we had made peace because I did defend her when Keemstar started attacking her because like her kid came in and she said, I'm trying to do my stream. I need you to go back to your bed or whatever. It was like something that was not bad at all, that they were acting like booby streamer beats her child or something really fucked up. And I don't remember what happened between that period and now exactly, but I know that there was just a lot of dipshittery spewing from her mouth. So much so that I couldn't, like, I couldn't just not call her out. I'm like, you're a public figure. You're saying really dumb stuff. Um, I remember she debated Destiny with the Alec Baldwin thing, which was really a bad show. Thank you for the subscriber, which was really a bad showing for her. Um, and I know I clowned on her a little bit there. I don't know if that instigated beef again. I, I honestly don't remember because I don't care. One, I don't care if I'm the one who talked about her first or something. Again, I've said this last uh, time we talked about BX Backtrack. You're a public figure. Your job is saying things and getting a reaction. That's what you do as a public figure and as a Twitch streamer. So even if I did respond to something you said first, I don't actually give a single fuck. Because, yeah, you're a public figure. Why shouldn't I respond to what you're saying? So, okay. So I defended her from the, the Keemstar thing because I thought it was a bad thing to attack her for. And then I guess there was more of a falling out after she started saying a bunch of dumb shit. Uh, particularly the thing with Alec Baldwin. So I talked about her on stream and I showed the meme of BX Bullet where it said, look at my firearm instructor, dog, I'm going to die. And then this led to her like sending me this massive message. And this is important. This isn't just me leaking something to be like a dick. This is important because she goes on to contradict virtually everything she says here uh, as she goes, as she tries to attack me and lies about me, which we will get to in a minute. So. October 27th, why are you being so hateful, dude? She's one of the people that thinks criticism equals being hateful. Um, you ever stop to think that there are actual people behind the screens? People with, this isn't, again, this is not just me leaking this. This is going to be so uh, hilarious when you see the kind of drama that follows this, okay? So people with lives and hearts who go through real struggles, same as you, it wouldn't hurt you to try to empathize and be a better person. I know I have my faults, but when I respond too harshly, wrong someone, etc., I go out of my way to apologize or write it in some way. Okay, let's go ahead and copy that one. We're going to remember that direct quote. We're going to put it in our little, uh, this I guess is just our notes now, not our exactly our timeline. There's a little note there. We'll make sure we keep track of this. Remember, we're all human beings here. You don't have to be so awful telling me to quit Twitch and having your chat attack me like that for content. I mean, I did tell her to quit Twitch and I still am saying she should quit Twitch because she should. She should absolutely quit Twitch. Like, she is not bringing anything unique here. She's only causing more shit for everyone. I said that she should. She would have a happier life if she just left the internet. And it's probably true. Um, so let's go ahead and remember that one. Now we reach the current drama, okay? And it all started... When this dude reached out to me on Twitter. Now I have screenshots here directly. 
I will show you the first DM. Here you can see the first message that he sent me. Okay. He says, hi, what do you have on BX bullet? And I was like, huh? And he said, he's going to expose her. Now, keep in mind, I have no idea who this person is. Okay. So we go on to talk and he offered me money first to just make a video about BX bullet. I didn't really like that idea. I would have rather had him on the stream. So the plan was then to have him on the stream to give his side of the story while I asked him questions. BX Bullet released this whole document about him where originally it said, please do not harass this person. And then after this dude received a ton of harassment, she edited out the part. So it no longer said, don't harass this person. So it, she didn't look as bad. I had no idea who this person was. He reached out to me. I was like, okay, well, if you've been screwed over by BX Bullet, I'm going to need to see some proof. So I clarify here that he was going to pay me a sum of $400 to basically go over the screenshots he sent me on air. That way I could ask him questions and then he could answer them and at least give his side. Keep in mind, I still don't know too much about who this guy is. I saw the folder and this is why I started to get a little sketched out. I was like, maybe you should come on the stream and we can talk about that instead because I started to think I'm going to be missing something and I can't just like make a video about someone when I like, I didn't know enough. And that's why originally here, do you have evidence? I've been asking him if he had evidence. I asked him if he had a uh, uh, proof of a police report right here. I say I'll accept it, but I don't want to take advantage. If less is needed, that's fine. Like either way, send me the evidence first. Don't send any payment until I see the evidence. And I'm sure I can commit to the expose regardless. You have my confidentiality. That's obviously out the window now because he approached me saying he was f suffering harassment from this person. I was like, um, I have so much shit on her. She claims to be a private investigator and a scientist. Anti-vax files fake police reports on multiple people. So that's what I was told. Okay. You can see it right here. Read it yourself. And I said, LMAO, you want to pay me to expose her? <laughs> what? Like I was totally thrown off by it. So basically BX bullet found out that I like spoke to this person essentially and got mad that I guess I gave him the benefit of the doubt or something. Either way, I didn't know the full story. So BX bullet goes what? and posts this video <laughs> trying to expose me as saying that I'm enabling her harasser. Keep in mind at the time, I didn't know this guy was a harasser. I didn't know that there were creepy allegations against him. I knew nothing. Okay. Hear about my situation with Matt Brockett, either because you're not following me on Twitter. Tis tis. Okay. So we'll skip this. Basically the allegations against this guy were, was that he had something to do with leaking a photo of her child in very little clothing. So of course that was fucking disgusting. And as soon as I heard that, I was like, yeah, no, we're, we're not, you're not coming on here. We're not doing this. That's fucking creepy. Also, I wanted to point this out too. Here's where I explain that I'm going to let him give his side, but I'm also going to press you on some shit. I'm going to be fair. And this is a chance that you could have your voice heard. So I was very clear with him that like, yo, this is not going to be some kind of a, you just jump on and spiel off how much you hate BX bullet and leave. That's not what's going to happen here. This is going to be me asking you, what the fuck does this mean? Why does this screenshot look questionable? And then after I found out about the creepy fucking allegations, you can see here on Saturday, I said, what's with the clip of you saying you did leak the picture of her kid? I think people are handling it wrong because he is getting doxxed and shit. So like that, that is bad. And I also don't know if there's solid evidence that he's actually like a pedophile, but he's definitely kind of creepy and a bad dude, someone I don't want to work with, but I can't help you when it comes to the clips of you admitting you leaked the photo. I sent you a refund. Thanks for your time or that you had the photo to begin with. So after I made my first video on BX Bullet, he sent me this, which was a his own volition donation to me of $250 it says fuck BX on January 19th saying I made a I mean, I made a video about her. Yeah, but it's not about any like your shit like it had nothing to do with you because that was true. He said, that's fine. I don't care. And I said, well, I mean, it was definitely kind of a hit piece about her. 
And then he said, I sent a tip. Thank you for making that. And I said, shit, dude, thank you. This was a tip, a donation. This guy doesn't like BX Bullet. He saw that I made a video criticizing BX Bullet. So he paid me a tip because he too doesn't like BX Bullet. This isn't complicated. And as Twitch streamers, we make money by getting donations and getting tips. So that's what the 250 is. The $250 you see here is the tip, which lines up with the date, Wednesday, the 19th. Oh wait, you can't see that because I'm blocking it. January 19th. So here on January 21st, he sent me the an additional $200, which was the reserve for a live slash record BX convo. This was when I was like, okay, maybe you can like send me um, half the payment now. We'll, you'll come on, we'll talk about it, then you can send me the other half. This was prior to me seeing the actual clip that I was like, yeah, no, fuck this, I'm out. And so he sent me this, and then upon realizing that it was creepy, and I sent him the DM, like what you already saw, you can see here, January 22nd, negative $200, and I even labeled it refund right back to the dude, because I said, you know what? No, I'm not taking your money. I'm not a grifter. You have said some questionable shit. I'm not interested in working with you. I did the right thing here. Someone reached out to me. I read through their DMs. They offered to pay me money. The first couple times I even said, I don't really think there's anything here, dude. I'm sorry. I don't really know if I can do anything about this. And he was like, I'll pay you. I'll literally pay you a thousand dollars, dude. Just help me out here. And I was like, I mean, I guess I can look at the Google Drive folder if you want. Um, I guess I can find those DMs too to prove it. Yeah, look, <laughs> even right here, I was like, I was like, I mean, damn, I, I want 500 bucks, but I, <laughs> I was like, I want 500 bucks, but there's nothing I can use here. Sorry, bro. Like, I was like, no, this, I don't think there's, there's anything here. Like he was the one repeatedly contacting me. I'll drop 750 if you can make something work. I don't care. Like. He kept negotiating me. I was like, okay, maybe I'll take a second look. Maybe that, maybe I'm missing something here. Is there something here? And that literally <laughs> was it, dude. That's all that happened. Someone reached out to me, asked me to do something. I said, nah, there's some sketchy behavior here. I don't think that this is a good idea to platform you. And then I sent him a refund. So not only did I prove once again that I'm not a fucking grifter, I also proved that there was nothing here where I stole his money or where I took his money to make a hate video, none of that. So now that we've sort of cleared that up, let's go ahead and uh, and talk about uh, what BX Bullet said about me. I'm skipping her whole shit. You did offer to make content for payment. That is sus. Do you know what a brand deal is? Do you know what a deal is on Twitch? Do you? That's not sus, buddy. That's called running a business. I'm sorry. Again, why do people have such a hard time understanding this? Making money from your content is not a bad thing and it is not sus. It is making money for content you don't believe in. I rejected the money. I refunded the money. Okay? Like, what do you mean? I didn't agree with it. I disagreed with it. So I said, no, I'm going to actually lose money here and I'm going to give you a refund even though I technically already had that $200. What the fuck are you talking about? All right. Russian ball or whatever, you're in timeout because you're a fucking idiot. If you think making money equals grifter, then you, my friend, are not only woefully misinformed, you shouldn't be allowed to be on the internet because you are too dumb. All right, so let's see what she says about me. Was conducting a scam with the Pokemon card breaks and stuff. All right, we don't care about So as of recently, this is mostly consistent anti-vax, but I digress. I'm not going to get into that debate today. Don't worry. So things began to boil over again with Matt about three days ago when he sat down on Twitch Live with a Pokemon card breaker who's also a Twitch partner streamer called Gabagool King. In this discussion, Matt openly admitted to clipping my naked child from my Twitch stream and saving it to his computer and blackmailing me with it as retaliation for what he perceived to be harassment that was my fault. And I'll play that. So that clip is the one in question. I'm not going to go through all these clips. I already saw it. Whatever. This is the clip, though, where she's trying to allege that I had something to do with it. That one for you now. I look like shit, but hey, I got stuff to say. I'm going to be really, really pumped for that video at the end of the week. 600,000 subscribers. Karma's a bitch. That's weird. Why would he be talking about a video by a large creator that hadn't been posted yet? And even weirder, guess who has 600,000 subscribers on YouTube? I actually have 569. Okay. So, uh... 
can you math? That's right. It's our good friend, Hunter Avalone. So later that night, I released the clip of Matt admitting to clipping my child, and it quickly gained traction on Twitter. I think as of right now, it's got over 400 retweets, so quite a lot of impressions there. Most everyone was expressing horrific disgust with what Matt had done. Um, I was getting a lot of support, a lot of messages, and it was very overwhelming for me dealing with the fallout of that the next day. The next day, I was dealing with a lot, and I think this had to do with a combination of being bombarded with DMs and tweets and comments, uh, but also revisiting what was honestly a past trauma. Uh, it was a traumatic incident when that happened with my child the first time. Okay, shit, dude, we're gonna skip this. Subscriber account, Hunter Avalone, posted a YouTube video about me titled, BX Bullet Called Me Out, Proves to Be Unhinged. Now, here's where the- True! And you're proving even more to be unhinged. Like, what? You, what's your point here? Can we get to it, please? To be unhinged. Now, here's where the irony sets in. This video is in reference to a very specific tweet where I called out Hunter for what I believe to be an overtly charitable stance towards pedophiles. I simply noted correctly that Hunter was more generous to pedophiles than he was to people who were not vaccinated. This is a stance which Hunter corroborates in the video itself. Hunter Avalon is more generous. And then she shows a dishonest clip. Check it out. ...to pedos than he is to the unvaccinated. Um... I had to think about this one for a minute, <laughs> because this might be a bullet that I have to bite in some senses, and that is, yeah, <laughs> in some ways I am. And also in this tweet right here, but it's also clearly true. And it is dishonestly clipped. I went on to say, in some ways I am. If a pedophile is a non-offending pedophile and they are seeking help, I think that that person does a lot less harm on the world than malicious anti-vaxxers, as I tried to clarify here on Twitter. So... Not only does she realize that it was out of context, she continued to show the out of context clip. She literally shows my tweet debunking it. Why are you doing that? When you just scroll through Hunter's feeds, that there's nothing he hates more than the unvaccinated. Like, for example, this recent tweet where he shames a mother. Wait, you do? Wait, why would you show me debunking the clip you just showed, you fucking idiot oh my god so she shows an out of context clip and then shows the tweet of me explaining the full context acting as if it's an own on her part man i guess this is what happens when you just live in your own reality really true when you just scroll through hunter's feeds that there's nothing he hates more than the unvaccinated like for example this recent tweet where he shames a mother with a sick premature newborn baby and calls her a pathetic loser for not being vaccinated while she was true if you have a baby and you're over here crying for Twitter points because you can't see your baby because you are too stupid to get the vaccine, you're a loser. This isn't what. <laughs> it's even funnier listening to her explain my like hilarious tweets in her like serious expo. And then he went on to call her a pathetic. Lo yeah, you're a pathetic loser. Do you think just like a bad experience exempts you from being criticized for, for like dumb choices you make? For a pathetic loser for not being vaccinated while she was pregnant. What a nice guy. Only an hour after Hunter released the- So is this the expose? I mean, where's the point? What's the expose? Where? YouTube video bashing me. Not only had Matt commented on the YouTube video already, but he'd also tweeted out the video and pinned it to the top of his profile. <gasps> as you may recall, our accused pedophile friend Matt is quite the Hunter Avalone stand. So as if that weren't enough, Matt, my harasser- Wait. So a person retweeted my video? I, I'm wrecked, guys. I've been destroyed. That would be like Nick Fuentes retweeted someone. They're a groiper. Like, hold up. It depends on the context. Like, I, I think that what the guy did as far as like leaking the photo or whatever is super fucked up. I absolutely condemn that. And again, that's why I didn't work with the guy and sent him a fucking refund. I'm going to keep referring to that. You're also a very hateable person. I'm sorry. Like, you're, you're just, you're very unlikable. And so it's not that surprising that if I dislike you and someone else dislikes you, maybe for a different reason, there might still be some overlap between people that don't always like you. Sometimes. Wait, did F did Fuentes retweet Shoe on Head before? <gasps> Shoe on Head exposed as a griper. Friend Matt is quite the Hunter Avalone stand. So as if that weren't enough, Matt, my harasser, began to comment on all of the threads that I was involved in on Twitter and link the video to every single one as a means to harass me. He was spamming it everywhere in an <gasps> attempt to deflect from his own situation. It's not a harassment to mention you on a Twitter on. Tw on Twitter. He also went live on Twitch a couple of days after Hunter released a YouTube video and said this. Can I now message them with the video about BX Bullet? That would be fair, right? Now there's a couple of them on YouTube, you know, of how horrible she is. Uh, one of them just came out from Hunter. Might be a few more. 
I'll just keep compiling them in every, every fucking person. So we've established that Matt is using Hunter Avalon's video as a means to harass me, going so far as to threatening to send it to every person in my Twitch chat. But what about him seemingly knowing about the video days before it came out? A few internet sleuths caught on to this relatively quickly and straight up asked Matt if he had paid Hunter to put out this video on the day that Hunter put out this video. Matt had this to say, referring of course to the completely unpaid video by Upper Echelon Gaming, which again is in the description below. A really good watch if you're interested in hearing more about the situation. Did Hunter and Matt have some kind of prior correspondence before Hunter made that video about me? Or maybe Hunter simply saw that I was getting a lot of Twitter attention at the time and decided to take advantage of the situation for- Oh, please. Okay, so that's her big expose, I guess, that like, this guy was paying me to make the video that I made about her. So the video that I made about her that she's talking about is this one. BX Bullet called me out, proves to be unhinged. Oh, it's so embarrassing for her. Oh, God. This is what happens, by the way, when you're driven by spite and not actually any kind of truthful uh, engagement. So why don't we go back to our content manager? Uh-oh, it would suck if these were all dated, wouldn't it? Oof. Uh-oh, what do we have here? January 7th. Yeah. So this is where I talk about BX Bullet. This is the video, right? BX Bullet called me out, proves to be unhinged, posted four days ago, streamed live on Twitch, on January 7th, when did the dude first reach out to me? Oh, it would really suck if it was actually entirely later on after the video was even fucking recorded. Oh, here we go. Wow, 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 wow. January 12th. I didn't even respond till the 13th. Days, days after this video was recorded. Oh, and now she's trying to allege that he paid me to make that video. That's not what happened. What he was talking about was possibly coming on my stream to give his side of the story. This was before I had a full understanding of everything. And part of the reason why I was so hesitant to even have him on to begin with, as I already demonstrated with the DMs, was because I felt like there was a lot to this story and that it was easy for me to miss something January 19th. So you can see that the video was posted on January 19th and uh, he sent me a tip for it. Um, and then it wasn't until the 21st where he was going to reserve for the live convo that I then refunded. So there you go. That's it. Basically, like the, the entire drama is a nothing burger. There, there was... There was nothing here. Literally, not like you could just look at the dates. I have all the dates right here. <laughs> I can prove to you right fucking here with my transaction history that I sent the dude his money back. Now, he is complaining that I didn't send him back the 250, but again, that was a tip. That was a fucking, that was just the tip, okay? It was only the tip, so it doesn't count. But seriously, no, I don't refund donations. Not usually, um, partially because it would be chaos if I consistently did that. And second of all, I can't actually refund super chats. So it wouldn't be entirely fair to people that donate that way. Hunter Avalon took a stream tip. Yep. That's basically the entire, uh, drama is someone sent me a tip. That's it. That's all that there is. I'm trying to see if there's literally anything else. So first. She claims that I am more charitable to pedos than X group or X person, right? Um, but then she goes on to use what this guy is saying, this Rain Plasma guy who she believes to be a pedophile. She then used what he was saying against me. So in her own twisted logic, in her own way, thank you for the subscriber, in her own way, she was actually being more charitable to pedos. Now, again, I don't actually know if the guy's a pedophile. That's a strong claim. She thinks he's a pedo, but then she's believing what he says as long as it comes back to her being able to use it against me. So she is literally more charitable to a pedo than to me. The other thing that's funny is she goes on to make this whole video like, oh, Hunter's video. helping my harasser. And this just proves that she thinks the entire world revolves around her. I'm sorry, BX b Bullet, BX Backtrack, BX Bullshit, okay? I'm not caught up with your lore. I'm sorry. 
you had to spend half your goddamn video explaining all the shit. What makes you think that I know all of this? She thinks the world revolves around her, so much so that she just assumes I know all of this massive dramatic backstory dating back like years and years just to go after her. Like she's proving to be so egotistical. She thinks the entire world revolves around her. I know it's kind of insulting to say someone has daddy issues, so I'm not saying she has daddy issues. I actually think she was too spoiled as a child. I think that this is a, a woman who has never really faced legitimate criticism and pushback, and when she does, she doesn't know how to handle it. This is shady. No, you, what's shady is the fact that you're simping for BX Bullet and you're clearly butthurt as fuck, that there's absolutely no evidence that I was paid to make this video. And now you're claiming I was paid by a guy to upload defamatory video about BX, and I'm now trying to cover it up. Okay, yeah, you're gonna go ahead and get banned, buddy. Instead of apologizing, oh, I'm sorry, guys, I should have just apologized for something I didn't do. See ya. Banned for being a simp. Anyone know why Hunter's against her? Because she's an anti-vax idiot and she continuously attacks me and we're going to get onto that next. Um, so yeah, just to be very crystal clear. VOD was January 7th. And he reached out to me on January 12th. And now we're going to get onto the constant shit that BX Bullet throws at me. So she showed this. This is a lie, by the way. Hunter Avalon is not only a liar and a grifter, but apparently takes money from criminals to help them harass their victims as well. Here's the proof. Now y'all know what I was on about and why I kept it on. People like this don't deserve platforms. Is she advocating for me to be deplatformed? And this dude... It, so this guy got mad at me because after I saw the Yikesy clip, I blocked him on Twitter. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm blocking you on Twitter, dude. You're kind of creepy. And then he was like, well, can you send me the 250 back? And I was like, no, that was a tip. That was like a donation. I'm not sending back a donation, but I'll refund you the money that you gave me. That was when you wanted to come on my stream. And so he's mad. So now he's actually up here spreading lies, which again, I've disproven with all the screenshots. Total of 450. You gave me 200 back and didn't give me the 250 back. Yeah, because it was a dono. You didn't make the video. Hunter was paid to make a video. <laughs> no, I wasn't. That's a lie. With my side and all this other stuff. And then he was going to do it live, and then he didn't do it live, and then he took my money and blocked me. That's, that? that's, too, me, that's also a right? lie. See that 200 right there? He gave yeah. me the 200 back. Uh-huh. But he didn't give me the 250. Oh, it would really suck if we actually had other DMs of you saying that was okay to me, right? Send me the 250 back. No, you donated that on your own volition. You blocked me. What's that about? Um, I was getting sick of getting nonstop heat for you simply liking my shit. I've been respectful to you also. And then I was like, I can just unblock you if you want. I blocked him again, though. Yeah, that'd be great. And I was like, okay. So he kind of dropped the thing about the donation. And now, uh, yeah, he got butt hurt that I didn't pay him back a donation, which again, all the DMs clarify that and justify it 50 and now bx bullets up here claiming i was paid to this guy seems like a weirdo he is a weirdo he is creepy that's why i didn't work with him but it doesn't change if someone wants to send me a donation they can send me a goddamn fucking donation like it wasn't like he sent me a donation it was like you remember that stream segment you made on january 7th can you please upload it as an edited segment on youtube here's 200 dollars. like what do you think is going on here accused pedophile pays hunter avalon to make hate video about me again it was not a hate video about her originally what he's talking about there was like i said he was going to come on and give his side and i was going to push him on shit um um, was there anything else? Oh yeah, she claims, notice how he doesn't show any screenshots proving he didn't take the money. It's like, wait, you're asking me to prove an, a negative? Can you prove to me that you didn't rob that bank last night? So now she has repeatedly lied about me, repeatedly start shit with me over and over and over again. I like literally BX bullet. She's like herpes. Okay. You think she disappears. You think she's gone. You think it's finally over. And then bam, back with a vengeance. Back even worse than before. It's fucking bizarre. So keep in mind now that she's been doing this shit nonstop. The last several days have been me 
and BX Bullet essentially just warring with each other on Twitter because she's too scared to actually come on my stream and just talk to me and get this shit cleared up, but she keeps on spreading bullshit about me on Twitter. So, the funniest thing is, after this, she goes on to get onto my, uh, onto a stream and shit talk me more and spread more lies. Hmm. All men. I'm sure they're going to simply agree with her. Or anti-pedo. Uh, is there anyone in here who is pro-pedo? I mean, like, what? I would like to know <laughs> that. that I need to actually... We need to know. Hello, FBI. Yeah, I'm on a panel right oh. now with a... <laughs> yeah, and no. I'm not aware of anybody being pro. If you are, you can... I've got my right click on the fucking ban button real quick. Oh God! Wow. Yeah. So, what did you want to ask me about the hunter situation, dude? This that was a weird plot twist. Yeah. That and just can you drop today. the accent, Monty? Can you just drop it and be real? Okay. Look, I, I'm not. I, look, hold on. First of all, I'm not trying to mock anybody. Okay. It's so funny watching them all be like, "Yeah, huge plot twist!" After knowing it's all just been completely de like debunked via screenshots. <laughs> It's just, I, I'm just saying it's an accent I fall very easily into because it's just, it's from my cultural background. Okay? I'm the same way with Texas accent. I can put it on real heavy if I want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and you know, uh, uh, oh, play it on real thick for you, sugar. And you know what? It just, it feels nice to lean into that. I'm not trolling beyond that. Everything's very genuine that I'm saying. Okay. Uh, I don't care just, if you're talking uh, an accent, yeah. bro. <laughs> no, no, I, I, people think, no, I think people think I'm, I'm, I'm like being weird and trolling you or something. That's oh. what they, they send the chat. And I assure you, you that's not what's happening here. I just uh, make that yeah, clear. Yeah, so, so lots yeah. of questions, questions you had about the Hunter situation. Oh, yeah, so why are you so mad that you... Uh, yeah, so here's the thing, like, here's the history, which is kind of weird. I don't know why he hates me so much. Honestly, <laughs> I don't. Um, we Listen to this fucking liar. What? Maybe it's because you just are about to call me a fucking pedo defender. Maybe it's because you're constantly lying about me. Maybe it's because you're butthurt as shit that I actually roasted you when we debated vaccines what do you mean we had seen... one talk we, we've been on a couple panels together um where you said we dumb had shit. a talk about vaccine mandates once that got he was just real like that was the first one-on-one -on -one talk i had with him and he was very just disingenuous debate what? bro annoying <laughs> what all right mike from pa what we just earned a mic from pa what all right, I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. She was way more heated towards me than I was to her. Holy shit. She just lies. Cardias, pericarditis wasn't rare. All I respectful debate and you agree. We have been getting a little heated here, yeah. Okay. It's, and it's also so not just about what you Because you're just attacking me. Like, you're not. I'm... Have you watched any of my previous content? inference there that validates anti-vax narratives 100 percent mm -hmm. it's kind of like if okay I, it's, so let's it's, just it's kind let's of, just on. bury no, 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 our no, heads no, in the I, sand no, and stop, pretend no, like I've everything's let, fine no that's not what i said it's the yeah over, it is that's you're, the you haven't opposite. let me tell you realize if, you're barely not, letting me talk oh, yeah. right now so it's the it's the overall effect of your rhetoric so try to imagine no so that's how the conversation was you can see right there her talking over me she got way more time to talk than i did Holy fuck. This is what happens when you're so spoiled, bruh. Insulting and just generally bad faith. And I did not like him after that. And right. keep in mind when she says bad faith, I literally had a document with her own clips and her own quotes that I wanted to ask her about. That, according to her, is bad faith. He kept trying to tell me to come back on his show and talk to him again. And mm -hmm. I literally said, because he's on Twitter, he's like, debate me again. You won't because you're a spineless coward. True. You, know you are. As a grifter, yeah. dude. And so I said yeah, but... in DMs, I said to him, dude. Look really? There's just like a whole hate panel about me and I wasn't even invited on? Listen, the truth is I don't like you. And so I'm not going to go back on your show. And he said, fine, blocked for being a coward. And he blocked yeah. me for saying I wasn't going to go on his show. Okay. So, and then after that, I was like, oh, well, I don't really feel too bad about that one. And I moved on with my goddamn life. <laughs> and then um, over the next few months, he just kept posting YouTubes. Like, he would just watch my content or my tweet, my tweets, and he would just make YouTube videos bashing me. And it's not like... BX what? <laughs> oh, my God. There's so much that's just... It can be empirically disproven. Let's look up how much BX Bullet TV videos here we got. I did three videos about BX Bullet on my channel. Now I have talked about her 
at other times on my Twitch channel every now and then if I address drama and it's not worth a video. I have three videos about you on my channel. Holy shit. This is what makes me mad. This is what, what upsets me is because it's different, right? If someone's up here like, yeah, I don't like Hunter's opinion about pedos or whatever, then I'm like, okay, you know what? Fine. You don't need to agree with me. That's fine. But if you're up there literally lying about me, then all of a sudden I have a, I have a different kind of an issue here. Now I'm getting mad because she is a, she's actually a gaslighter. Like she's unironically gaslighting me here by claiming I'm the one who consistently acts disingenuous and in bad faith while she is the one acting disingenuously in bad faith. Well, it had a bad take and I disagree because of X, Y, Z. It's like, she's a brain dead idiot. True. Stupid. She should just disappear. The world would be a better place if she wasn't in it. Lies. Like, really, like, ugly. really, holy really? shit. What? So she's alluding now to me saying that she should kill herself. I have never said that. In fact, I have said the complete opposite. Here is a goddamn tweet where I said, no, I genuinely think you'll be happier offline. Your mental health would improve and so would mine. Offline? When did I say the world would be better off without you? I said Twitch. I didn't say the world. I, I actually can't believe like there's just blatant falsehoods. And this is a response, by the way, to BX Bullet, where I said she'd be happier offline, directly contradicting what she is claiming there. She is literally gaslighting me. Putting a lot of energy into you. Yeah, huh? yeah. So like, but I, and I just ignore it. I honestly. Oh, like, right. She just ignores it. Didn't we just scroll through a fuck ton of the tweets she was making about me? videos have I made about him? Zero. Because I don't fucking care about him that You don't make videos. One, you just made a video where you talked about me and you've talked about me several different times and now you're on an entire panel to whine about me. Fuck you. Much. And um, so, yeah, then eventually uh, what happened earlier this week is that he released a video. Well, okay, so he had a tweet that said something about, it was like a pedophile you know how they like that stance that I don't agree with where they want to basically normalize pedophilia what? and destigmatize right. it under the guise of oh now they holy shit notice how she's lying there too my stance was never to normalize it holy fuck that is the complete opposite it's kind of like when we talk about destigmatizing things like STDs or AIDS right like that what that means is that you lower the rate of like disgust you feel towards that thing, essentially. We don't want you to get an STD. It's not good to get an STD. It's not normalized to get STDs. We recognize that it's bad, but it's also destigmatized to the point that if someone is unfortunate enough to get an STD, you don't treat that person like a piece of shit and an outcast from society. It's literally not that hard to understand the difference between normalizing something and simply destigmatizing something. I have been extensive and very crystal clear when it comes to this take because people love to just say he supports pedophiles and then they start to just jerk off with rage about how bad I am. Like, can you just fuck off, BX Bullet? I, I'm not, I'm not Billy Ellish, okay? I'm not the bad guy here. They can seek help, but the only way they're going to seek help is if we've completely de destigmatized them. And the only way we do that is by normalizing it, which what? is why it's a dumb stance. This is such a bastardization of my take. Holy shit. What? I never said normalize it. And all I did was I, I quote tweeted him and said, Hunter Avalone is more generous to pedophiles than he is to the unvaccinated. Um, and that's a stance that he actually was like, yeah, I kind of am, I guess, because anti-vexers have a choice and pedophiles don't have a choice. So, yeah. And I'm like, OK, well, if you agree with me, then why are you going off? Like, are you kidding me? You made that tweet, obviously, in an attempt to slight me. So I further elaborated on the take that you were trying to attack me with. How are you so fucking stupid that she is terminally she is terminally dumb. I actually feel like I feel scared for her. Is she able to walk? Is she falling down the stairs regularly? Like, she is so fucking crazy. You want to legalize STDs? Are you... I hope that you're joking. You know, you agree with me? Okay, so it wasn't like a nasty, hateful tweet. But he comes at me. Like, if you go to his Twitter right now, it's nothing but, like, just mean, like, the explo basically... <laughs> There's nothing but mean tweets about me. Dude... What what does your Twitter look like? Me. A tweet about me. A tweet about me. Let's see. 
a tweet about me, a tweet about me, you making a tweet, a whole fucking video with, about me. Uh, response to the Hunter Avalone video that I made. Um, yeah. Instigating it. Good morning, Hunter Avalone. When you're done writing your mean tweets, can you please answer your qu- You're instigating shit with me! Oh my god, she's a drama queen. But he comes at me, like, if you go to his Twitter right now, it's nothing but, like, just mean, like, BX, well, basically should just KYS. No, like, it's right. We Holy shit. That is the most blatant lie I think I've ever heard in my life. The fact that she would claim that I told her to KYS, that is a huge no-no. I do not do that. I never have said that. I never would say that. And again, we have a tweet where I say it to you that you'll be happier offline. There's nowhere that I'm suggesting you should kill yourself. You shouldn't. You would live a happier life if you were offline. Are you so fucking terminally online that me saying you should leave the internet is the equivalent to me saying you should leave your life? Like, are you so terminally online that you can't even imagine a life without the internet? Without social media? Like, what? You're exposing yourself right now as being deranged. You put, yeah, you put a lot of angry energy into that. Yeah, like, like, you, you must I, really I have hurt them. I don't you insult really people. Like, I, don't, I don't debate by insulting people. I feel like if you do that, it's because you just suck at debating. Wait, where's the clip where she's like, Hunter's a grifter and a piece of shit? Where's that one? Can we find it? I, I skipped Hippy Dippy because I can't stand Hunter's grating ass voice. He is a fucking grifting little bitch and I hate him. That's Guys, she doesn't insult. She doesn't insult him. What? What? She doesn't just throw insults around. That's not how she debates, you know? She's at the moral high ground because if she feels like she wants that to be her reality today, well, daddy's spoiled little girl is going to make sure it happens. Because for her, if she decides that this is the reality, then she will just convince herself that it is. She is delusioned. She is an insane person. I genuinely think that she is cl clinically insane and not only would be better uh, uh, offline entirely, but would also be much happier seeking therapy. Maybe spend like a couple weeks in a padded fucking room. Mad about that, and apparently, like he was, he had a video he was gonna put out. So he put out this video on the same day I was trying to blow this pedophile out of the water because it was getting a vi virality. Again, whatever. I had no idea about this. She acts like I should just magically know her own drama. I know that you think that I like obsessively scroll through your Twitter. Maybe you can stop projecting because I don't. I don't, I didn't know who this person was or anything of the matter. I literally posted a stream segment about you because there was something dumb that you said to me. How are you this fucking insane? How are you lying to this degree? Guys, remember her DM she sent me? That's why it was so important I brought it up to you. She likes to go out of her way to apologize. You know, we're all just humans behind the screen, right? That was what she told me in that DM. It doesn't seem like she's following through with that DM. Um, and Hunter, a 600,000 YouTube subscriber YouTube account, posted a video about me that day and started talking shit on Twitter. And pretty much he just got ratioed into oblivion by people who are like, why are you doing this right now when she's clearly trying to do something for the greater good and she's going... That's a lie too. Like, what, do you, what does she mean ratioed into oblivion? Not one of my tweets got ratioed. And even if it did, that means absolutely nothing. She is terminally online. I think I think that for her, telling her to quit Twitch or telling her to just leave the internet is actually the equivalent of telling her to leave leave life. Like, that's not what I what I'm saying. I don't want her to do that. I want her to leave the internet and go live a happier life. But like, I think that that's the equivalent to her. Going through a hard time. Like, why now? Why not just support her and stop, you know, dogging on her right now? And um, again, also like, j you called me out on Twitter. I responded to it and then posted a segment about it a few days later. This is how stream segments and streams and streamers do shit, okay? I don't know where you've been, but get with the program. What do you mean? Like, I'm not going to look at your Twitter and be like, oh, she looks like she's going through a really tough time right now. I'll just wait to post this video. You're a public figure. It doesn't matter if your day is good or bad. People will criticize you sometimes. Sometimes you'll be having a shitty day and someone will say something that makes you feel shittier. Sometimes you'll be having a good day and someone will post something that's nice about you. This is called being a fucking public figure. 
By that logic, should, should nobody ever say anything mean about your dumb takes when it's your birthday? Do we have to be nice when it's a certain holiday? Oh, if it's Christmas, you can't criticize me. It's Christmas. What? What does she mean? Because I was doing this other thing on my Twitter, you can't post a video about me? She is the biggest fucking idiot. I can't even, I can't fathom it. I hope that one of these simps on this panel tunes in and listens to my stream and realizes how they've been deceived by this lying snake. Then I remembered that, so I've been kind of monitoring my stalker, my this pedophile stalker on Twitch, and... I remembered him saying, he said, uh, oh, I can't wait for this video at the end of the week. 600,000 subscribers. Yeah, karma's a bitch. And I remember that. And I was like, this is very strange. How did he know about Hunter's video coming out before it came out? They must have had some kind of... So, again, what he was talking about there was the possibility of him coming on my stream to give his side of things. That's what he was talking about. Contact with each other. And so I asked Hunter, did you have contact with this guy? You know, and if so, like, I need to know, like, what's going on? Because we're compiling evidence for, like, an She did not say this. She did that not. Very fucking serious. Wait. <laughs> First of all, I read the investigation that she wrote. Okay. Second of all, what is she talking about? She never said this to me. I just want to really stress that this is super fucked up, guys. She's trying to retell the story with her as, like, the, the, the heroine who reached out to me and said, hey, we're just trying to compile some evidence. What's going on? That is not what happened ever. You're, in, you're an insane person. You never reached out to me. Where's the evidence? Where? On what platform? Do we want to look at Discord? You know, fine. I can well, let's look at Discord. When was the last time we Discord DM'd? I'm live whenever you're ready. I know it's a little early. Sure, I'm ready. Oh, this was um, September 17th. Hmm, that was our debate. Okay. No, the last DM we had here was me saying that I blocked her because she was being super annoying and saying that I was being a creep and a weirdo for covering shit that she said publicly. Um, so I blocked her. So no, she never contacted me there. Oh, oh maybe there's a couple simps in here saying, show your text messages. Maybe she has your number. So no, she never reached out to me. She is a blatant fucking liar. Like, why is she even telling these lies? This can be disproven. She's a gaslighter. Dude, I I feel like, I don't want to get too personal, but like, holy shit, this is, she is a fucking nutcase. I, I don't know what else to say. How do you defend yourself from someone just blatantly lying? Like, actually, no, I DM'd BX Bullet, you see, and I said, hey, I would really like to make amends. And then she said, no, fuck you. Do you have any proof of that, Hunter? What? Huh? Like, if we're just going to make shit up, can I start making some stuff up? And he just, you know, tirated with, you know, your brain dead idiot, who cares? While my harasser, he just constantly retweets. He was threatening to spam that video to <gasps> everybody who ever chats. Again, like I cannot, literally, I cannot help if someone spams my video. What do you want from me? Put it in whispers and, like, send it to people just to harass me. So, like, this guy, this pedophile, ironically, is using Hunter Avalone to harass me and like so he's, all he, I, he's retweeting all yeah. of his tweets too so, so i just asked him i just asked <laughs> someone retweeting me guys it's over hunter canceled Ask hunter straight up first of all why wouldn't you come out why wouldn't you block the guy so that he can't do that anymore so when he can't retweet you why not just block him how easy would that be and the second thing you should do is you should come out and say i don't condone harassment of people and i did um wait but, this was 20 hours ago i, I already did that Oh, BX Bullet, are you lying again with something that can be proven? Oh, that would suck. Oh, no. Oh, not again. Let's see. Um, ah, right here. After she made the video. I don't support any harassment. Oh, wait, hold on. That was 20 hours ago. Okay. What time was that at? 1.25 p.m. So, hours later... She went on there and said that, that just, why don't you just condemn it? I said, I don't support any harassment directed your way, but you are repeatedly moving the goalpost to make an unfortunate situation your way to shit talk me. All because someone you don't like, liked a few of my tweets. Again, this is pathetic. Delete your account. All true, by the way. So I did right here say I don't support harassment. What, is this just like, why don't you just say what I want you to say when I want you to say it, Hunter? Why don't you just follow my orders? 
This is, she's like a major Karen. You know, he didn't do any of that. And then the third thing I said was, why don't you answer the question of how this harasser, this pedophile knew about your video days before you posted it? And he just kept denying and saying there was no evidence. It was pr guilt, uh, guilt by association. It and then was. finally we put enough pressure on him and got him to admit, okay, well, yeah, fine. He was in my DMs. And yeah, he did Wh offer to pay me to do that. <laughs> I hate, th I legitimately hate this person. Like, I actually hate this person. <laughs> I never said he wasn't in my DMs. I never said, I literally was just like, no, I was never paid to make that video about you. Because that's true. <laughs> I can't, I don't know how much more of this I can take. It, it actually is starting to be painful. Like, she, she is just blatantly lying. She's a liar. But I didn't take the money. And so that happened today and everybody, I, we were just like, what the fuck? Well, that was easy to get a confession out of him. Wait, and a confession for what? <laughs> what confession? She's talking about this tweet, by the way. I'm sorry, I'm getting too mad. I, I need to chill out. It's just really annoying when someone lies about me so much. Attached her screenshot showing I recorded the BX video before her alleged stalker ever even contacted me. He did try to pay me for a platform and I told him no. There's no drama here. I did the right thing. Wait, what did I confess to? Did I ever say he never DM'd me? I said I wasn't paid to make the video. I attached the screenshot of the tweet, or uh, uh, excuse me, of the stream VOD, BX Bullet TV, a chat message, which showed that it was on January 7th. That was the only way I could get a date on uh, my mobile. And then I showed the DMs January 12th. I proved right there with those screenshots that I was not paid to make that video. So what the mother fuck are you talking about? I didn't know it was so easy to get a confession out of him. I guess you can just call things a confession and just, wow, guys, look at this. Can you believe BX Bullet just confessed to lying about me? I cannot believe she confessed this. Holy shit. I cannot believe she just made this confession right here live on air. Holy shit. We'll just keep on, uh, you know, we'll just, we'll just make up shit too if she's going to, if she's going to do that. And, um, Wait, really? I wonder. That yeah. Today? So then, so then he posted a screenshot. <laughs> Hunter Avalon out here taking two fifty from randos to make videos. All right, you're blocked. That is not true at all. I had already made the video, and then it was a donation after the fact. I was not paid to make that video. You're blocked for being a liar, for being a uh, uh, simp, and for being a delusional psychopath. Uh, he posted a screenshot of the message, but it was cropped, and he was like, "See, it just, it just, uh, you know, it's just a." A screenshot of basically him posting question marks after the guy says, I want something on BX Bullet. And he's just like, what? And that was it. And I'm like, but oh. you just said that he offered to pay you. So where are those DMs? Can Wait. <laughs> she can't read. I don't think she can read. Do, do you know that I didn't just post this to vindicate myself? It's the dates showing I recorded the BX video before her alleged stalker ever even contacted me. So her whole thing now is that I didn't post what she wanted me to post. Why doesn't Hunter go on CTV stream to clear her, his name? Because this isn't live. I would. I would jump on immediately if it was. We see those. Like, it seems like if you were really trying to prove your innocence, you would post the entire DM, right? And show us where he turned down the payment, right? I mean, it would be really easy for him to just be like, here's the DMs. Good thing I have that literally showing the refund. I don't know what happened. He's blocked now. Don't condone harassment. The end. We all walk away, right? Right. Just say what I want you to say. Just comply, Hunter. Hmm. Strange. So uh, that's how, what how, happened. How does his wife feel about him putting, like, unnecessary amount of energy on, on like, focusing on one person? No, but, I mean, that must it cause turmoil. I don't, it's, it's, it's strange. What? <laughs> how does my wife feel? Dude, this guy is the fucking biggest simp on this panel. Oh my god. What? What does your wife think about the fact that you're defending yourself from an insane Karen who repeatedly tweets you? What? Can you phrase it that way next time, pal? Oh, that's right. I remember. Sad girl equals correct. Well, here's it's another money, weird bro, thing. But is for that... them, it's, 
it's oh, money. It's true. all a yeah. grift. Okay, it doesn't yeah, matter but, one but, way or the other, right? So here's what Call it a grift. I wonder what his I wonder if he knows the definition of that word. The last guy I asked couldn't answer when I told him to put his hands on his head. Right now, is that like as many YouTube videos as he's made about me, as many mean tweets as he's As many videos I've made about her? Do we need to go back and, and count again? How many were there? Guess what, BX Bullet? I know this might be hard for you, but you can actually count it on one hand, okay? One, two, three. That's how many videos I made about you, BX. Three. Soon to be four, because I'm going to post this segment where I d dismantle every single lie that you've told about me thus far, as I have. And that's why the majority of people in the stream, other than a couple simps who are desperate and sad and hoping that you'll somehow sleep with them, are um, literally all acknowledging that I've been vindicated. This is why originally Big Papa Fascist shared the clip uh, criticizing me. And then after I explained what happened, he said, oh, actually, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I can't really condemn you for getting like a donation. Good thing that you sent the refund back. I'll delete the clip. Even he walked it back. You're lying to all of yourselves if you don't believe this. There are screenshots right in front of you. He's made about me. I've relatively just left it alone. I haven't made videos about him. I haven't devoted three hour streams to him like he has to me. I basically Really? Three hour streams about her? Damn. Last I looked at the segment I made about you was like, what, 20 minutes max? I guess you can just lie about the time too. That, that's okay. Yeah. Ignore him. I, I, I like, can I do this? I can't believe. B oh, wait, how long is this stream? So it's a seven hour stream. Do you think BX Bullet was on the stream the whole time? Nah, probably not. But whatever. I can't believe BX Bullet would spend a seven hour long stream crying about me. Except I took that jab like he treats the un unvaccinated worse than he does pedophiles, which was true. So you acknowledge you took that jab. We also have the video clip where you call me a bitch and a grifter. That wasn't like an insulting tweet, right? Um, <laughs> it and... wasn't. It wasn't supposed to be insulting, Hunter. You just called it a jab. It was a jab, but it was supposed to be a nice jab. It's like a, a, a Facebook poke. Uh, so yeah, basically, I released one video, and the video simply asking him to explain his relationship with my pedophile stalker. And uh, all of a sudden, all these people come out of the woodworks and be like, why are you harassing him? Why are you so obsessed with him? True. Like, why are you harassing me? It's getting creepy. Honestly, you're consistently causing bullshit for me, starting drama and spreading lies about me. I would like to live my life on. He hasn't been fucking tweeting about me nonstop, making nonstop videos. This is the first time I've ever tried to defend myself. And all of a sudden people are like, well, how dare you? I'm like, go fuck yourself. This dude's obsessed with me. I'm tired of not fighting back. Like, this is serious. What? <laughs> Wait, is she talking about the stalker? I hope she's talking about the stalker, not me. This isn't just like him calling me an idiot online. This nope. is him withholding information about a guy who tried to pay him to release hateful videos about me. No, not true. <laughs> Oh, I love it, dude. Her, the chat over here is so stupid, too. But it's okay. Like, they, they have no point of reference, you know? Zid sidewalk talk was just being sarcastic. Can you unban him? Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I got you, bro. Meanwhile, this guy is, like, uh, harassing, stalking my family, threatening violence against me. We have police investigations going on. Like, don't you think that that would be important information for you to, like... I mean, if you were on our side and not on his side, wouldn't you release that information to the public? Ask the fucking loot. Ask the fucking loot. <laughs> wouldn't you release the information if you're on my side? This is so, this is like almost abusive behavior. The sort of, if you really are on my side, you need to do things the way I want you to do them right now. Don't you, aren't you on my side? Don't you care about me? Don't you care what's going on right now? Why aren't you just complying with my wishes exactly how I want you to do? What pisses me off about this is, is that, is that, that people will... It, sorry, it was nice to meet you, BX. I, I... <laughs> the one guy. Listen to this guy. He's like, hey, notice me, please. Release that information to the public? Ask the fucking movie. Ask the fucking movie. With. What pisses Did... me off about this is, is that, is that, that people will... It, sorry, it was nice to meet you, BX. I, I, I have to go, everyone. Have a, have a great night. All right, see Good, you leave. Day. Go away. Yeah, dude. How does your wife feel about you being on a panel simping for another woman, dude? Ew, yikes. I thought it was pretty cool that Keemstar retweeted you. But well, I the, didn't know. It was ironic. I thought, he was like, I thought he was like against you like 
He was. A month I ago mean, or some shit. Well, so, I mean, if you guys want to believe that he did it as, like, you know, hey, this is the pedophile thing's more important than you being a booty hustling booby streamer or whatever he called me. <laughs> Boba. All right, you're unbanned. Streamer or whatever. Booty hustling what. booty streamer. Is she going to talk about me defending her in this case? Her booty hustle. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe he just realized that was kind of trivial in comparison to yeah maybe you know this situation but yeah so and it's also ironic because this is now this is the second time keemstar was the second time that um somebody has used my child against me on twitch i, I so she does it something is she talk does she talk about me anymore i hope not or about the rain plasma or well I mean, I get it's harder for you to, to run an online website because girls for nude photos and then sharing them with the kids, sending them to um, sending them to dildo websites. He was oh, will stop and we'll we'll go back to square one and nothing will have happened. My entire platform was built around educating people about self-defense and <laughs> even just listening. You just skip somewhere and it's just instantly a parody about self-defense flip over to her fucking debate with destiny alec baldwin should have literally checked the chamber himself <laughs> and here's the best part okay here's the cherry on top now we have proven without a shadow of a doubt that i was not paid to make any hate video about bx bullet i also proved that i made that video long before that person even reached out to me and although i did con uh, i excuse me i did talk with that person in dms because he wanted to come on my show and try to give his side of things i was like okay yeah maybe but then upon realizing that there was some yikesy shit there i sent him the money back that he previously had sent me as a deposit so i refunded him and that was it and this is the cherry on top so she lies 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 spreads conspiracy after conspiracy after conspiracy cries non-stop whines consistently throws so much shit at me and people like in this space like she's shit talk destiny and stuff too and now 8 54 a.m guys oh i'm done fighting Twitch is just so full of people using real life, serious problems for clout and content. I'm just done, guys. I'm tar- so I'm tired. Sorry. So she causes all this shit, spreads so many fucking lies about me, and now gets up here and plays the fucking victim. This is pathetic. She is so spineless. She, it's just, it's transparent. It's not even funny. <laughs> please, please, no, BX. Oh, no, please, don't. Don't delete your Twitter, please. Don't do it. This, it's just hysterical that she can cause so much fucking drama, spread so many lies, and then get up here and play the fucking victim. It is hilarious. And this sums up BX Bullet really well. A airhead bitch slash Karen who nonstop lies about people. And then upon getting called out for their fucking bullshit, they run on Twitter and cry about it like the poor boohoo little victim. Fuck you, BX Bullet. All right. I like you. I want to be done with the drama, I do, but at the same time, the next slip up, the next fuck up you make, I am going to make sure I cover it and bring as much attention to it as possible because you are pathetic. You're a pathetic, sad cretin with no life who tries to fill the sad, desperate void your divorce left in you with this petty fucking drama, with trying to feel superior to other people online while simultaneously lying and gaslighting them. So you can go fuck yourself, and next time you fuck up, I'll be right here live, making sure that me and my entire stream are laughing at you. Because you are a clown, you're a lol cow, and you're not going to get up here and spread consistent lies about me, and then just allow me to just brush it off and walk away. That's not going to happen. Fuck you. So, yeah. Cool. Sounds good with me. Don't, uh... Get out of the kitchen if you can't take the heat.